Hello everybody, so continuing our study of music, if you remember last week I said that we were going to be going over the uh, um, each of the scales, each of the major scales, and going through this process of writing the eight notes in succession, as you can see here in the notes, or in, in the chapter, write the eight notes in succession above the keynote which is given, that is one note for each successive line or space, and then we mark the ties where the half notes should appear, i.e. between the third and fourth, and the seventh and eighth steps in the scale. And then we go through the process of creating our tetra chords. You remember, it's a, it's, so in C major, it would be our set of, th of three whole notes followed by a half, or three whole steps followed by a half step. And then uh, following that, we have uh, three more whole steps followed by a half step. So we're going to go ahead and do that for each of the scales. So let's go ahead and get into it without any further ado. Here we go. So there are my notes. And let's go ahead and start working away at this. So we've already done C major. I'm not going to show that. So let's go ahead or... Why not? Let's, I guess we'll go ahead and start right at the very beginning. So let's go ahead and write this out here. We know that we're going to have, starting on this pitch, this is a treble clef. So um, we know that this is going to be our C. And then D. Well, we'll do the lines up. There we go. E, F, G, A, oh, and here we're at the middle of the line, so this is a single voice, so we uh, do the stem down, if you remember. And then finally, we have our C, okay? And then over here, in our bass clef, we have stem up, that is C in the bass clef, D, E, oh, and we've reached the middle point, right? So we can choose, we'll go ahead and do stem down. So we're at the exact middle point. Yeah, there's, so there's C, D, E, Notice I'm trying to line up the notes here. F, G, A, B, and C. Okay, so on our notes here in the bass clef, is C to C in the bass clef. Okay. Make sure that's not too loud for you guys. That'll work. Okay. And then up the octave is our, our treble clef. Okay. So that is C the C major scale. Once again, our tetra chords are C, D, E, F, and G, A, B, C. Okay. Our next scale, we're going to uh, travel by fifth. So this is going to be very similar to our um, circle of fifths video that I did. In fact, it's the exact same, just demonstrating the scales versus the keys. Okay. So going up a fifth from C, we have G. Okay. And that means that our G is going to be here. Okay, and we'll go ahead and do them both at the same time. Now I could choose to do a G here in the upper re register, but I'm going to go ahead and jump all the way down the low octave. So on the instrument, that would sound, uh, this would be treble. And then this would be our bass version. So that is the G in the lower register. And that is G in the upper register in our treble and bass clefs. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and 
line them up. And you remember how they said we needed to, what was one of the uh, parts of the uh, assignment? You mark a tie where the half steps should appear, i.e. between the third and fourth and the seventh and eighth steps in the scale. So I guess we'll go ahead and mark these in the center, uh, these scale degrees. So this is one, and it's going to be one for both. And then we have A for both, and that's going to be our second scale degree. Uh, do it more in the center because it's for both. And then we have B. Once again, B, we can choose either to go down or we can go up with our tail. I'm choosing to go down for there. And this, of course, goes up because we haven't reached the midpoint on the clef yet. This is our third scale degree. Our fourth scale degree is C for a G major. And we said, and according to the book, what, what is the step exactly? Well, the first thing is to write the eight notes in succession above the keynote, which is given the keynote being G. So let's go ahead and do that process first. Let's finish that out. So five. Six, this is going to be some form of E. Notice we've reached the midpoint here, so I'm actually uh, going to put this stem down. Okay, This is our sixth scale degree, and then our seventh scale degree is going to be some derivative of F. That's our seventh scale degree. And finally, G. And there we go, that is our eighth scale degree. So once we have our eight scale degrees, we then uh, mark a tie between the areas where we should uh, um, uh, expect a half step. So our, we expect a half step between the third and fourth scale degrees, and they just want the tie underneath, so third to fourth, and we'll do there, third to fourth there. And then between the seventh and the eighth, there should also be a half step. Okay. So now let's play through and let's see what the notes are. And you'll see on the piano, um, on the keyboard, that the, um, what they mean by those half and whole steps. So starting at G. So from G to A, that is a whole step as it should be. And then from uh, G A to B, already a whole step. And then B from B to or from B to C is already a half step, so we don't need to modify it. And then we take a look at C to D, and we should expect that to be a whole step, which it is. D to E is a whole step. Now. This is our sixth scale degree, and I uh, so I mismarked that actually, didn't I? Control Shift R. It was between the sixth and the seventh scale degrees. So let's put that there. Sixth and seventh scale degrees. You should have caught me sooner. Okay. So there is our sixth and seventh scale degrees, and that is E. And we should expect this to be a half step. Oh. My apologies. No, I, I did have it right the first time. All right, let's go ahead and undo. All right, so sixth to seventh. Sixth to seventh should be a whole step, right? But if it's E to F natural, then that is a half step. So we need to sharp our F in order to have a whole step between six and seven and thereby maintain our tetrachord. There you go. And, well, that's a terrible sharp. There we go. There we go. That's a little better. All right. So with that in mind, we now have a whole step between the sixth and seventh scale degrees. And, this, and we should have a half step between the seventh and the eighth. Very good. So once again, our tetrachord. Three whole steps followed by half step, 
three whole steps followed by half step. And this is our G major scale. So I'm going to go ahead and label these. This is C major. And this is G major. To reiterate or to review, uh, that uh, we would then write the scale or the key signature, F sharp, for both F sharp and F sharp. You remember that is in the that is in the textbook um, a little bit lower down. So the orders in which we're going to add sharps is on page twenty. It appears to be twenty eight. Twenty eight of the theory book. Okay. So if you need to, you can use that as your reference. So now let's go ahead and clean up the uh, uh, notes that we have here, and let's do two more. All right. So we did um, we did uh, C and G, and then what is the fifth above uh, G? D. So we're going to lay out some variation of D. This is D major. D major. So we need to lay out the notes for a D major scale. Fairly simple. Go ahead and go here. And then once again, at the midpoint, we go stems down and we have C, and finally D, D to D in the treble clef, and then the same in the bass clef. Now, we could uh, do two things here. We could either start at the middle section, or we could start down below and have a D down here. I'm going to start at the middle, and I'm going to go ahead and start with stem down. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and finally D. There we go. And this is our first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth scale degrees. So we did, we should expect to see a half step between the third and the seventh, the third and the fourth, and the seventh and the eighth scale degrees. So we'll go ahead and mark that with um, a tie. I believe, what do they call it? A tie or a slur? They say mark a tie. Okay. A slur is usually more than two notes, I believe. So uh, three and four, three and four, and then seven and eight, seven, and eight, okay? So let's go ahead and start playing. We start on D, and we need to have a tetrachord, which is three whole steps followed by a half step. So from D to E is a whole, is a whole step. Now from E to F, well, that's a half step in the natural sense. So therefore, we need to sharp the F in order to increase the distance between E and F. So let's go ahead and add a sharp between three on the three, on the third scale degree, or median, right? And then there should be a half step between the median and the subdominant, or the three and four. And there already is, so that's good. We don't need to modify the scale. G to A is already a whole step, so we're beginning our second tetrachord. And A to B is already a whole step, so therefore we don't need to modify. And now C, uh, B to C should also be a whole step. This is the third note in our tetrachord, but it's a half step, so therefore we need to sharp the C in order to maintain our tetrachord. So... Now, if we take a look at our tetrachord, which involves the notes um, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So this is A to B, 
is a whole step. B to, to C sharp is also a whole step, so we've maintained that. And then uh, C sharp to D, or our seventh to eighth scale degrees, or leading tone to uh, tonic, is a half step. So therefore, we have successfully built the D major scale. And to play it, And the key signature for this looks like F sharp. C sharp and F sharp, C sharp. Very good. So that concludes the D major scale. Moving on to our next one. So we want to go up a fifth from D. We're in A, okay? So we're going to be building some sort of derivative of the, or we're going to be building the A major scale. Okay, so on our treble clef, we start on A and stem up because we're not at the middle yet, but then we immediately go stem down because that's B. B, C, D, E, F, G, and then finally A. And then we do the same in the bass clef. So we're going to start down here. This is our A. And then we have B, C, D, stem down. E, F, G, and then A. All right, so now we need to make sure that we can maintain our two tetrachords to make up the major scale, which is three whole steps followed by a half step. and it's between the third, or the median and the subdominant scale degrees, and between the leading tone and the tonic, or the seventh and eight, eighth scale degrees. So let's go start playing. Start off first between one and two, so A to B. It's already a whole step, don't need to modify. But we need to modify two to three, because that needs to be a whole step, so we immediately sharp. The C for both. And now we take a look at there's a whole step. And there's already a half step between C sharp and D. So we have our first tetrachord. And now we take a look at our second tetrachord, which is first uh, four to five is already a whole step. I mean, I'm gonna jump down. Jump down here. So we then need to have um, five, six, and a seven, or five, six, and seven to be whole steps. So we first take a look at E to F sharp. Well, that is uh, that needs to be sharped already in order to maintain the whole step. So we go ahead and throw a sharp on there. Okay. So now we have E to F sharp whole step, and then finally F sharp to G. That is a half step, so we need to uh, we need to modify the G in order to maintain our whole step divisions. So we have now sharped the G, and then finally the seventh scale degree and the eighth scale degree have to be a uh, half step apart. And we have done that, so we have successfully built the A major scale to tetrachords, and by doing this, we sharped the Medi uh, the um, we sharped the mediant in order to in uh, in order to shorten up the um, space between them to make it a half step and uh, between the third and the fourth scale degrees and then we sharped the sixth and seventh scale degrees in order to maintain the whole note um, spacing between them and the fifth scale degree so we sharped our subdominant and leading tone scales and then how does this sound?
This is our A major scale, A major scale. And the key signature looks like F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. Excellent. So now our next our next set is going to be the fifth above the a fifth above A, which is E. So we go ahead and write out the notes of the E major scale. This is the major scale that's built on the note called E, E, F, G, A, B, C. Oh, and I just realized I made a mistake here, didn't I? So let's go ahead and so those stems should not be going down. They should be going up. There we go. There we go. And same here. Same here. There we go. So we start at E and we take stems up. There we go. And then once we hit the middle, then stems go down. So D, um, let's see, B, C, D, and then E. And the same for our bass clef. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll start here. I could start lower, but this will work for us. So E, F, G, A, B, C, D, and then finally, E. See, we have to add two ledger lines in order to maintain the scale. There we go. So let's go ahead and start playing this in order to determine what notes need to be sharped. So once again, two sets of tetra chords, three whole steps followed by a half step. So I'm already, I'm going to go ahead and do it right away. So we are, we can see that E to F, we need to sharp the, the space between them. So now they're, they have the whole step and I guess I should go ahead and label these. This is tonic. Um, tonic, supertonic, mediant, subdominant, dominant, submediant, leading tone, and octatonic. So, whole step between tonic and supertonic, whole step between uh, um, supertonic and, and mediant. Not there, so we need to change that. We need to alter our mediant by sharpening it to increase the distance. And then finally, we need to have a half step between our mediant and subdominant, and that has been maintained. So go ahead and write the tab. There we go. And then um, between our fourth and fifth, or our subdominant and dominant, we need a whole step. And then between our fifth and sixth sixth scale degrees, we need to have a whole step between the dominant and the sub and submediant. So what's written right now is B to C. So we need to sharp C in order to maintain the whole step division. Okay. So C sharp, and then we need to have whole step between our submediant and leading tone. Already, you can. I'm playing it as a D sharp. If I just play the D, it would be a half step. So there is our D sharp, and then D sharp to E. It's a half step already. So our half step uh, spacing has been maintained between our leading tone and tonic, and uh, scale tonic. So this is our E major scale, and to write this out on the as uh, as a key signature, it would be F, C, G, and then 
F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. Problem is, I don't write out enough of these in order to be really good. So F sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp. There we go. So this is this has four. And you remember this was our four o'clock. There we go. And then in the bass clef, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. Okay. So that's our E major. And then what is the fifth above E major? We have B. So if I go ahead and write out B major. And for this, I'm going to go ahead and start in the low register here. So this is B. And this, of course, is just going to be for our B major scale. So we have B, C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. And I can choose to leave the stem up or down. So I'm going to go ahead and put it up. And then down here in the bass clef, we have same thing. We have B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And I did it again. I put my stems up when they sh down when they should have been up because we haven't transitioned yet. So, all right. So let's go ahead and get rid of that one. And we'll leave the stem up on that one. So this was B. And we need to go stems up and stems up. All right. So there is our B. And we start on B. And the space between our uh, tonic and our supertonic needs to be a whole step. And I should go ahead and label these as scale degrees. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth, or tonic, supertonic, mediant, subdominant, dominant, submediant, leading tone, and tonic. So between tonic and supertonic must be a whole step. So go ahead and play that. Immediately we need to sharp. We see that we need to sharp the C in order to maintain the whole step. Then a whole step between our supertonic and our mediant. So we need to sharp our mediant in order to maintain the whole step division. Okay, and then between our mediant and subdominant needs to be a half step. So we already have a half step, so we don't need to alter. We don't need to alter our subdominant in order to maintain the distance. And then from E to from our subdominant to our dominant needs to be a whole step. And as of right now, it is a half step, so we need to sharp our dominant in order to maintain the whole step division between subdominant and dominant. And there we go. Now, whole step between our uh, dominant and median, we can already see here that we will need to sharp. Oh, once we see the patterns, we can begin to do it. I don't need to play it every single time. So uh, our uh, between F sharp and G sharp, that's, um, we would need to sharp the G in order to maintain the whole step division. Okay. By the way, seven and eight. Oh, it's uh, we're already on our what? This is our fifth, right? This is our fifth example that we've done so far. So you can already see the pattern developing, but we'll go ahead and do it. We'll follow the homework, so to speak, all the way out to the end. So between our uh, fifth and sixth, or our dominant and our submediant, this is a whole step. And then from G sharp, we need to sharp the A in order to maintain the whole step division between our submediant and our leading tone. And then our between our leading tone and our tonic, well, this is already the uh, spacing of a half step, so we have maintained the continuity. So if I play what is written here, we should hear the major scale, B major scale. 
the B major scale. All right. So, and then of course, written out, I'm going to go ahead and drop a bar line here and then just do it on the other side. So this is our F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp. And remember that the name of the scale is also derived from the fact, or not, not from the fact, but you can determine what the key signature is going to be because the name of the key will always be the key signature with the sharp that is a half step below or that is one step below the key name. So in the B major scale, the very last uh, sharp in that key signature is A sharp, A sharp leading tone to B major. In the bass clef, this is written as B sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and A sharp. Okay. And we have two more to go, and then all of our sharps are done. And then we have our flats on the other side. Okay. And so for this, I'm going to go ahead and delete these notes here. Okay. So a fifth above, a fifth above B is F sharp. So we're already starting on a note that has been that has an accidental applied to it. This is F sharp major. Okay, and this means that we need to. Oh, I'm going to give myself more room here so that I can do a key signature later. So this is F, and it has to be sharped already. So F, A, G, A, B, C. Oh, and I did it again. All right. Well, let's just go ahead and get rid of the tail. There we go. All right. There we go, and we need a D, E, and finally F. Okay, and the same in our base. We'll start down here. Stem up this time. F sharp to start with. G, A, B, C. And then here we'll go stem down at D, E, and finally F. All right, and this of course ends up at F sharp. All right, so tonic, supertonic, median, sub uh, subdominant, dominant, submedian, leading tone and tonic spacing between third and fourth half step spacing between seventh and eighth or between leading tone and tonic half step so now let's go ahead and start constructing our scale our first our first uh, uh tetrachord three whole steps followed by a half step so we need to sharp G and A and we have built our first tetrachord then in order to build our second one whole step needs to be established between our subdominant and dominant so we already start off C major which then means that we need to sharp our submediant and our leading tone scale degrees in order to maintain our tetrachord. So starting with F major. That is our F sharp major scale. And then the key signature F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, 
Oh, I'm gonna run out of room. Tell you what, we'll do it on the back side again. Here, there we go. F sharp, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, and then E sharp. See, we're getting close to the end. This is our, we are at the sixth level here. Okay, and then in the bass clef, this looks like, oh, by F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, and E sharp, or F major scale. A fifth above, F sharp, C sharp. So, C sharp major, and we're starting right off the bat. Oh, I'm going to go ahead right out here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I'll go ahead and do a line measure there. All right, so C sharp major. Step up this time, stem up. <laughs> and then we have our D, E. Now this one's gonna be kind of funny and we're gonna be able to cheat because if in a C major scale, all the notes are natural and the tetrachord is maintained, then you guessed it, all we have to do with the C major scale is we have to, or the C sharp major scale, all we have to do is sharp every single one of our notes. It will be receiving seven, seven sharps, seven accidentals. Pretty nifty. So I'm not even going to worry about this. I do know that between my third and fourth scale degrees, or my sub, my median and my subdominant, there needs to be half step, and then the leading tone to tonic needs to have a half step as well. So all I need to do is apply the sharp symbol at all locations. So, just labeling them as I go. I've already done C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F sharp. Did I just do two, one note too many? I think I did. C, D, E, F, G. How many notes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What am I missing here? Oh, that's what I did wrong. Okay, so let's go ahead. See, the problem is the problem with rushing. Don't don't want to rush. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and finish this out. So C, D, E, and then F. That was the problem. So there's our F, and then G, A, B, and then finally C. You probably were screaming at me, saying, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, well. We can learn from our mistakes. All right. So, every single note receives a sharp. And then played out on the keyboard. The C-sharp major scale the key signature for this F sharp C sharp G sharp D sharp A sharp E sharp B sharp okay and then we have F sharp C sharp G sharp D sharp 
A sharp, E sharp, and B sharp. That is our that is our C sharp major scale. So now what about the flats? These are going to go a lot more quickly than the sharps because there's no real explanation. It's simply I'm applying the ideas. So two groups of tetrachords. And we're going to go down by fifths from C this time. So we start on F. So this is our F major scale. F major. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Tonic, supertonic, mediant, subdominant, dominant, super uh, subdominant, uh, leading tone, and tonic. F, F, G, G, make sure those are a little larger, A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, and finally F, F, and F, all right, third, fourth, or mediant, and subdominant, leading tone, tonic. So already we need to sharp our, or we need to flat, we need to decrease the distance between our median and subdominant scale degrees. So put in a flat and everything else will be maintained. Two groups of tetrachords, three whole steps followed by a half step. That's our F major scale. Key signature, B flat, B flat. Okay, and then our next one is a fifth below F. So you see five whole steps or a fifth below F major is B flat major. B flat major. Okay. So we need to build our tonic, supertonic, mediant, subdominant, dominant, submediant, leading tone, and tonic. In the B flat major scale, so we can go ahead and do our B here, and it's a B flat. C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat. Between the third and fourth scale degrees, third and fourth and seventh and eighth, half step difference. B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat. Okay, and so we need to maintain our tetrachord here. three whole steps followed by a half step. So therefore, we need to flat the E in order to maintain that first tetrachord. Then our, we go on. 
So the only difference is we needed to flat our fourth scale degree, our subdominant, in order to maintain our, our two tetrachords. The B major scale. Key signature for this, B flat, E flat, B flat, and E flat. All right. So our next two are going to be the two uh, scale degrees or notes, uh, the fifths below that. So the fifth below B flat is E flat. So we're going to have an E flat major scale, E flat major scale, tonic, supertonic, mediant, subdominant, dominant, submediant, leading tone, tonic, and our key signature. And we'll go ahead and start writing these out. So we have E flat, some sort of F, G, A, B, C, D, and E. Same with the bass clef. Uh, we will start down here. E flat. Just jumped two notes, didn't I? So E. F. G. A. B. C. D. And E flat. Maintain half step difference. Let's start building our tetrachords. Half step between our, our median and our supertonic has to be maintained by a flatting our subdominant between our subdominant. So our between our sub -medi our median and our subdominant. Okay. So and then we need to flat our dominant in order to maintain the distance between the subdominant and the dominant. And there is our E flat major scale. So we altered our uh, subdominant and dominant scale degrees in order to maintain a major scale, two groups of tetrachords. Key signature, E flat, or sorry, it's uh, I think it's B flat, yeah. B flat, E flat, A flat. So this is B flat, E flat, and A flat. Okay. Next one, a fifth below E flat is A flat. You guys can still see that. Shift it a little. Might need to. Hopefully, you guys can see those names. Not that it. It's not terribly critical, but let me go ahead and I didn't, didn't think that um, oh, interesting. Now I've got a bit of a problem. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and write this the rest of this out. B flat, E flat, and A flat. So down here, this is uh, a fifth below E flat, so this is gonna be A flat. A flat major, and hopefully you guys can. Oh, it's just just outside the uh, bounds, huh? Well, that's a shame. Hopefully you guys have been able to see some of those lower notes. Um, let me go ahead and make my make this just a little bit smaller. 
And yeah, you should I should be able to see that now. So let me go ahead and uh, clean this up just a little bit. There we go. There we are. So. We'll call that good. Make just a little bit bigger. There we are. Okay. So as we were saying with the A flat major scale, this is the fifth up, up below E flat. So let's go ahead and write out the scale degrees. So tonic, supertonic, median, subdominant, dominant, submedian leading tone and tonic followed by the key signature so we start off with a flat go ahead and do the treble clef first so a flat then we're gonna have to form some derivative of b I'm sure you can already see that it's gonna be b flat but we won't spoil the fun until we get there so A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and A, flat, down the bass clip, A flat, B, I'm doing it again, I'm iron tight, um, let's see, control shift, See, the problem is, I'm a bass singer, and bass, bass singers always have their stems down, because usually you're writing in four-part harmony, so to my eye, it doesn't look bad, but I have to constantly remind myself, hey, we're writing for, write some here, something just a little different here. So we have A, B, C, D, E. F, G, and finally, A flat, okay? So let's go ahead and put the tie between three and four, half note, or uh, half step, and let's go ahead and start building out our tetrachords. So if we start on A flat, we already need to flat B the distance between B flat and C is already excuse me is already a whole step and then between C we need to flat we need to flat D in order to maintain that half step between the mediant and the subtonic and then between our subdominant and the dominant we need to have a flat to maintain the whole step division and this means flats on see here f so we actually that was incorrect we don't need to have a flat on our f because the distance between um F, yeah, E flat and F is already a whole step. Five between the dominant and the submedian, it needs to be a whole step. There we go. So we have completed, we have successfully completed our A flat major scale. This is our, essentially on our, on our, um, circle of fifths, this would be the fourth key signature down from C major. So essentially four jumps by a fifth down from C major is A flat major. Okay, and to go ahead and write out the key signature for this, we write, simply copy the E flat major scale and add one more. So B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. So B flat, 
E flat, A flat, and D flat. So A flat major scale. Excellent. And our so we have we've this is our fourth scale degree. So we just have two more. Just two more, and then we have what is it? Three more, three more, and then we've completed them all. So if we did E flat, A flat, E flat, so our fifth down is D flat, so D flat major is our next scale. D flat major. Okay. Tonic, supertonic, median, subdominant, dominant, submediant, leading tone, tonic. Key signature over on that side. Starting on D flat major. D flat, E flat, or sorry, just E, F, G, A, B, C, D flat, and then hit the bass, bass clap. D flat, E, F, G, A, B, C, and D flat. Almost running out of room, but that'll be enough for us. Okay. And between third and fourth, third and fourth, and seventh and eighth. And notice I can say seventh and uh, I can say the numbers or I can say the names. Either way, you can jump back and forth. You don't need to maintain continuity between them. So let's go ahead and start building out our first tetrachord. So we need to flat E and then. We need to flat our G, our subdominant, between our median and our subdominant in order to maintain the distance of a half step. And then between our subdominant and dominant scale degrees, we need a whole step. So I went ahead and flatted the A. And then we need to flat the B. And that is it. So if I play my first tetrachord so d flat e flat f g flat a flat b flat c d flat flat major scale. B flat, E flat, and this is the key signature, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. Uh, what am I missing here? Mine is beginning to draw a blank. So B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, G flat. I could take a break, but uh, I just want to power through. So, undo. So we have B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. Okay. Then the uh, the fifth below D flat is G flat major. Okay, and we'll go ahead and do our tonic, sub, uh, supertonic, median, subdominant, dominant, submedian, leading tone, and tonic scale degrees. Then our time signature on that side, G flat major. 
we automatically put a stem up. I caught myself that time. So B flat, A. Go do stem up there. B, C, D, E, F, and finally G in our bass clef. B flat, A, B, C, stem up, D, E, F, and G, flat, roll. There we go. All right, so we need the half step between the median and supertonic and between the leading tone and the tonic. Let's build our tetrachords. So tonic, supertonic, median, subdominant. I, you saw I was flatting. I was already playing the supertonic, flatted, and the median flatted as well. And then the distance between so B, uh, G flat, A flat, B flat, and then C flat as well. C flat needs to be added in order to maintain the distance of a half step between the median and the subdominant. Then we The distance between C, uh, C flat and D flat is a whole step. So we need to maintain the tetrachord by sh by flatting our submediant, and then we leave our supertonic because if you look at the the distance between the submediant and the sup and the uh, leading tone it is already a whole step di uh, it's already a whole step difference and then the uh, distance between the leading tone and the tonic is a half step so we have built our G flat major scale okay. and then the key signature for this B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, and finally C flat. All right, fantastic. We have one left, and then we are all done with our major scales in all the keys. So that's pretty, that's pretty fun. So let's go ahead and delete these scales here. Okay. And the, uh, we go a fifth below G flat, C flat major. And once again, this is going to be super easy because it is a C major that has been dropped by a half step, which means everything is going to be flatted. So, because you've been such good students, I am going to make this one very, very easy, not play anything. Well, actually I'll play it when it's all done, but I'm not going to worry about the names because we've already covered it. We have covered this 14 times, right? Which is, pretty good this is this is really good drill helps you really understand your key signatures and also your scales so i hope it has been beneficial to you and i hope you've been following along if not you can always go back and rewatch the video and follow along with the scales don't i'm sure you have more important things to do in your life but Still, it's good exercise. 
All right. And I'm not even going to worry that I made a mistake here. So that should that stem should have been up. Now that I've noticed it, I do need to fix it. <laughs> Go delete that and delete that. And we'll leave the other one. Okay. So it stems up on these two. And then once it hits the midi, uh, the, the the middle, it can go either up or down. So C flat, D flat, E flat, F flat, G flat, A flat, B flat, and C flat. Key signature. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. Uh, did I miss one? Um, A flat, A flat, D flat, uh, G flat, C flat, and F flat. So, um, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, um, G flat. C flat and F flat, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. Oh, wait, did I do that backwards? I think I did. G flat, I did, I did. I need to do my G flat. Oh, okay, so G flat was first, C flat, and then F flat. So I was almost on the right track. And finally, our F flat. So that is the key signature for the C major scale, the C flat major scale. And then that's played. And with that, we have successfully written out all of our major scales, all the way from C major to the C flat, a C flat major and C sharp major. So I hope this has been informative. I hope you've learned a few terms as far as uh, especially um, the uh, uh, scale degree terms. We did a lot of drilling in that area, just using those terms, getting very comfortable with them, being able to switch between terminology of tonic, supertonic, mediant, subdominant, dominant, uh, submediant, leading tone and tonic and the scale degree numbers of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please consider um, uh, liking the video or pressing the like button and uh, also consider subscribing and watch some of my other stuff. I uh, hope it's ho hope it's been useful for you guys and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.